So now we are very close to the end of this course. But before we finish, I would like to leave you with some final tips on do's and don'ts, some general advice to help you enrich your sketchbooks and create an outstanding portfolio that will help you get your desired mark. So let's look at also what you need to avoid to do well in GCC Art. Don't procrastinate your homework. Be consistent every week. Don't just copy info from online. Write it in your own words. Show that you understand it. Don't repeat yourself. Try different ideas and different materials throughout your sketchbook. Don't worry about perfection. Mistakes are okay. It's a visual journey from start to finish and mistakes are good as they show your development. It's not about perfect results but about learning and progressing. And please don't overdo it with the annotation and write endless passages of text. Have a good balance. Sometimes you can also use keywords or short notes instead of long paragraphs. Don't just copy images from online. Take your own photos or copy things from observation. Use both secondary and primary sources. Secondary sources is material that others produce and primary sources is your own photos or drawings from direct observation. Tips on do's are some of the following. Use your sketchbook as a visual journal. Use a good quality A3 sketchbook with thick pages on which you can use both wet and dry mediums. You can use it in either portrait or landscape mode, it's your choice. You can glue materials onto the pages and if your sketchbook does not close properly, that's great, it means that it has diverse content. Stick a copy of the AOs onto the first page of your journal so you can always refer back to it. You can decorate it with visuals to remind you that each AO. Plan ahead. Be organized with your time and do not let things to last minute. Look for inspiration from things you like, for example, stories, movies, images, song lyrics, literature, science, documentaries, and anything else you like. Decorate the cover page. Make it yours and make it feel special. Have a small sketchbook for quick sketches that you can take with you anywhere. Be creative. Take two irrelevant ideas or images and merge them into one. Show experimentation. Make copies of your ideas or drawings and test different materials and techniques on the copies to create a series and compare. At this point, we reached the end of this course. Well done! I hope you found this useful and don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions or you are unclear about something. Thank you for being part of this. I guarantee that if you follow the advice given on this course, you will surely do great in your art subject. Good luck and thank you!